My name is Kyle. I'm with 888 VoIP. We're going to go ahead and get started. First and foremost, uh, can everyone hear me all right? If so, just shoot me a quick yes in the chat at the right-hand side of the screen, please. All right, good deal. So with us today is Dorothy from the product marketing team at Grandstream. On behalf of both 888 VoIP and Grandstream, we want to thank everyone for taking time out of their day to meet with us. Uh, we're going to try as best as possible to adhere to our time frame here, try and keep this within a half hour. Um, just a quick note on 888 VoIP instead, or in case any of those out there have not worked with us before, we are a value-added voice over IP hardware distributor out of the Northeast, Buffalo to be exact, focused on VoIP solution delivery and really focused on the value-added segment of that distribution model. So part of that value-added uh, go-to-market strategy is just what we're doing today, having product training webinars, product spotlights, incorporating our um, manufacturer partners as we support our channel participants. So as we go through and highlight some of the new products that Grandstream is releasing and has released, if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, please let us know via the chat. I will let you know though at the end of the webinar, we will have a session with a uh, Grandstream engineer to uh, a answer any more advanced technical questions. Um, as we go through though, we're going to try and like I said, adhere to that time frame so not all answer all questions might be answered up front but um, that's just a bit of housekeeping there. Uh, with that being said, I wanna introduce Dorothy from the, the product marketing team over on the Grandstream team. She's located at her Boston office utilizing her Grandstream GVC 3200 to help uh, present this information today. She's gonna to be our primary presenter. Uh, and if you have any questions, like I said, let us know via the chat. Dorothy, the floor is all yours. Wonderful, thank you very much, Kyle. And thank you everyone again for joining us. So we're gonna go into the presentation. And before we do, just want to let you know of the webinar raffle that we'll be doing. Um, so it's sponsored by 888 VoIP, and we will be raffling off one GDS 3710 IP video door station uh, to an eligible webinar attendee. So keep that in mind. Hopefully, uh, one of you guys will be the lucky ones. So just for today, we will discuss Grandstream's newly released products. Uh, we will talk about the GWN series of networking products. And we'll also go into the GDS 3710 IP video door system. And of course, as Kyle mentioned, we'll have that Q&A at the end. And you can use that chat feature through your web browser for, um, to submit your questions. So for any of you who might be a little newer to Grandstream, just wanted to give you a quick background on what we do and who we are. So we were founded in 2002, and we're celebrating our 15th year anniversary this year. And we're a company of, up to, of over 600 employees at this point, uh, so we've grown a lot from our early days. We have a wide-ranging portfolio uh, that covers 40 different SIP products from video conferencing, wireless networking products, audio conference phones, IP phones, IVPBXs, and more. Um, so a lot of a really wide range of products for your business communication um, needs, deployments, businesses, and such. Um, we do typically uh, serve small to medium-sized businesses and consumer markets. Alrighty, so these are the items we'll be talking about today. Uh, we'll start with the GWN 7600 and GWN 7610 wireless access points. Uh, we'll go into the GWN 7000 Enterprise Gigabit Router, and then we'll wrap up with the GDS 3710 IP Video Door System. All of these products, um, aside from the GWN 7600, were released uh, within the last month and a half, so very new to Grandstream um, and probably new to many of you in the webinar, so hopefully we'll be able to give you a good introduction as to uh, you know, what these products are comprised of. So to start off, we'll go over the GWN 7610, and this is a mid-range wireless access point. This was released, I believe, in November or December of 2016, so still relatively new, um, however, was not released in, in this year. Um, so this is our first device within the networking uh, product portfolio. So the GWN 7610 supports uh, up to 250 Wi-Fi client devices supports uh, 1.75 gigabit per second wireless throughput and features two gigabit wireline ports. It also has a coverage range of up to 175 meters. Additionally, it features dual band 3x3 MIMO technology, as well as advanced Wi-Fi security features, which we'll go over in depth uh, shortly. 
also features simultaneous dual band Wi-Fi signals. And one of the most differentiating factors of the GWM series uh, access points is the embedded controller. Um, so no extra devices needed. Everything is already embedded through the web UI of the GWM 7610. And it um, basically supports auto discovery, auto provisioning, and management of up to 50 other Grandstream wireless access points. The second um, access point that we offer is the GWN 7600, and this was released in March of this year. Uh, now, this one is a um, you know same family, of course, but slightly different um, slightly different features. So it supports up to 450 Wi-Fi client devices and up to 1.7 gigabit per second wireless throughput with two gigabit wireline ports. So what you'll see with this model is that it supports more clients, but at lower um, connect connection speeds, essentially. So um, this is a good access point meant for, you know, deployments in possibly shopping malls, um, you know, event centers, or any kind of public, more public areas, while the GWN 7610 is better suited for um, an office environment where you need those faster wireless speeds, um, but you will have less clients connecting. The GWN 7600 also supports the same 175 meter coverage range, and this one has dual band 2x2 MIMO technology rather than the 3x3. Features the same Wi-Fi security features as the GWN 7610, um, and also offers simultaneous dual band Wi-Fi signals. The GWN 7600 also supports the same embedded controller as the GWN 7610 um, for the auto discovery, provisioning, and management um, and the, of other Grandstream wireless access points. Now, this one can manage up to 30 um, other Grandstream wireless access points, while the GWN 7610 can uh, manage up to 50. Additionally, we released a router to kind of round out our um, network product offering. So, the GWN 7000 is an enterprise multi WAN gigabit VPN router. Um, it has, again, embedded provisioning, and it can control up to 500 GWN 7600 Wi-Fi access points. Um, so you can mix and match from the 7600 to the 7610, and you can manage everything, provision everything in one location through the GWN 7000. Features seven gigabit ports, two of them WAN and five LAN. It also features hardware accelerated VPN, including PPTP, L2TP, IPSEC, and OpenVPN with speeds up to 300 megabits per second. Also features one meg packet set per second routing and 10 gigabit per second aggregate switching power. So really looking at a um, high-speed enterprise grade router here. Also supports 3G, 4G LTE wireless uplink via USB dongle. And the web interface is um, a is basically available to essentially monitor and provision your entire network. So like we have the embedded controller and the access points, we want to make sure that we have a centrally located area where you can go in, monitor and provision your entire network um, to basically streamline your deployments, your management, and make sure that all of our devices are easy for you to use. So just some feature highlights to call out on the GWN 7600 routers. Um, they feature 175 meter um, coverage range, or up to 165 if you're looking at the GWN 7600. Each of them feature 16 SSIDs per access point, and both feature dual band Wi-Fi and gigabit wireline ports. Additionally, they each have that controllerless management that um, I mentioned, with no need for a separate controller, whether it's software or hardware, it doesn't matter, everything is already built in through the web UI of the GWN 7600 access point. And additionally, when it comes to client access, 250 concurrent clients per the GWN 7610, 450 for the GWN 7600. So you can kind of use those stats to help you decide, um, you know, what's, a little, what's the better access point for your deployment, whether it's speed, range, uh, concurrent client access, et cetera. Now for the hardware specifications. So um, for the Wi-Fi standards, it supports IEEE 802.11 A, B, G, N, slash AC, got them all. <laughs> and then when it comes to GWN 7600, uh, supports the same ones, including Wave 2. When it comes to the antennas, you're looking at three 2.4 gigahertz antennas in the GWN 7610, and um, also three 5 gigahertz um, antennas. And then when it comes to GWN 7600, you're looking at two antennas, uh, both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. 
When it comes to the Wi-Fi data rates, I'm not going to read them off over here. You've got a ton, but basically uh, they support pretty much all of the standard Wi-Fi data rates. You can choose uh, whichever ones are best for your particular environment, and you can see the whole list there. When it comes to frequency bands, you've got, uh, as I mentioned, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. The channel bandwidth is also um, listed there. And then when it comes to the NEMO specifications, you've got 3 by 3 in the GWN7610, so a bit more powerful than the GWN7600, which is 2 by 2. Coverage range for the GWN7610 is 175 meters, while for the GWN7600, it's 165. Concurrent clients are 250 for the 7610, 450 for the 7600. Both feature the same network interfaces with two auto-sensing gigabit network ports. And when it comes to the auxiliary ports, they also have the exact same ones, one USB port, uh, one reset pinhole, and they both do feature a Kensington lock. So especially for those deployments where these are being put in a public area, like let's say a coffee shop or a shopping center, um, the Kensington, Kensington lock provides extra security uh, to prevent it from being easily uh, removed from the wall and stolen. So a good feature there, um, especially for those public locations. Now, security encryption. Of course, this is incredibly important no matter where you're deploying these devices. Um, we're always, you know, security when it comes to um, whether it's Wi-Fi or, net or wired networks is always a top priority. So we offer basically all the um, security encryption methods that are commonly used on the market today so you can make sure that you um, have a secure network regardless of where um, you deploy these access points. So it, submit, or it supports WEP. WPA, WPA slash WPA2, PSK, and then also Enterprise, and then it also supports WPA AES and WPA2 TKIP. A lot of, a lot of letters. Uh, you guys, if you are familiar with uh, networking, you know what these mean. You've got a little bit of a description there. So just uh, basically the gist of this slide is to make sure that you know that there's a lot of variety when it comes to security and you have, um, you can trust basically anything with the access points. Um, now back to that controllerless management. This is something very new to the market um, and Grandstream is the first and only uh, current provider that has this feature. Uh, so a lot of people are kind of taken aback, wait, is this real? How does this work? Um, so it's an important differentiator for Grandstream, but it also is meant to make sure that for your deployments, um, you're, these are easy to manage, you don't need to be purchasing extra software or hardware, and that you have a central location for everything, um, especially with you know, Wi-Fi becoming essentially, well, an essential um, feature in all offices and in many other public locations. We don't need to complicate this further or make your jobs harder. So uh, the controllerless management is basically already included in the GWN Access Points uh, web user interface. So you can access it there and you can provision and control and manage your entire network of access points. You can mix and match between the 7600 and the 7610, depending on where in your location um, you, know, you might need either or um, for the, you know, based on their features. So this is definitely important to keep in mind. And um, if in the future you are deploying these and would like to attend a training, we do do training webinars on this to dive further into the controllerless um, feature and how to manage it. So just a little bit more detail on this. Uh, basically what happens with the controllerless management, um, you have one GWN7600 or GWN7610 that will be the master, and then that will have the remaining access points paired back to it. So you'd be able to access that one master AP, and um, you can discover all the other APs on your network, and it'll show up through the um, controller in the web UI. You can then set up and manage all of your APs in that one centralized network. Um, now, this does require the use of a DHCP server. Now, we'll move on to the router. Um, so, the router was released again in March, and this is meant for enterprise grade deployments. So, you're looking at seven gigabit ports, um, a robust variety of firewall uh, standards, multi WAN with load balancing and failover. You've got, um, high, this is high speed with 10 gigabit switching power and of course that integrated VPN. 
um, which is incredibly important and VPN is being used more and more. So we want to make sure that that is also featured and available um, in one place through the GWN 7000 router. So now we'll dive into just the specifications so you're a little bit more familiar of what the GWN 7000 offers. When it comes to network interfaces, there are two auto sensing gigabit WAN ports, four auto sensing gigabit LAN ports, and one port that is configurable as LAN, WAN, or VoIP. So you can take control over that extra um, gigabit port based on your needs. When it comes to WAN, you've got DHCP, static IP, PPOE, load balance, load balance and failover, as well as rule-based routing. For LAN, also DHCP server, DNS cache, multiple zones, and VLAN. When it comes to routing performance, you've got up to 1 million packets per second with 64-byte packet size. And for the USB support, it supports 3G, 4G, and LTE as WAN, and it also features printer and file sharing um, capabilities. When it comes to the VPN feature, uh, it supports protocols PPTP, L2TP, IPSEC, as well as OpenVPN. And when it comes to the auto provisioning capability, so this is not necessarily the built-in controller that the access points have, but just on the exact same, um, you know, same theme, we want to make sure that you can um, have everything provisioned and controlled through one location. So it has an integrated provisioning master to control up to 500 GWN series Wi-Fi access points. Once again, you can mix and match between the GWN7600 and the GWN7610. Additionally, it features two USB ports, uh, three, USB 3.0 to note, and also that reset pin. Uh, now my picture is not showing up as much as it was supposed to, so uh, apologies for that. Don't know what happened here, so I'm just going to skip through that slide, but it's just uh, basically showing you the different um, network interfaces on the back of the GWN. So to go into that advanced uh, central control and network management, um, so this is you know, a big selling point for, um, especially for our resellers, to make their job easier with their deployments. Um, but also, you know, the IT teams and system um, administrators that are managing all of these networks. So um, the web UI of the GWN 7000 router features a set central network uh, management um, portal, essentially. So here you can um, manage your network of Wi-Fi access points without a single point of failure. No need for a separate controller, hardware, software, everything is built in through the web UI just as it is through the access points. It features automated provisioning and auto discovery for any GWN 7600s and GWN 7610s that are in your network. Um, and you can also monitor the status through the dashboard. Um, you can quickly and easily review basically whatever's going on on your network, whether it's a smaller network of five APs or you've got a network of 250 APs. Everything is going to be manageable through this one location with the GWN 7000 router. And additionally, you know, on that theme of the easy setup and management of the wire, wireless network and the VPN networks, it's not just managing access points, but you can also manage printer or host printer services, file storage and sharing. You've got support for 3G, 4G, and LTE networks. Also features multi-WAN, um, status monitoring, web management, and you can also monitor, monitor and uh, manage other GWN 7000 routers on the network. So there's a lot of different features. Um, and everything is all centrally located within the GWN 7000. Now, lastly, we'll just touch upon the site, site VPN tunnel solution. So um, VPN, big feature, always in demand, so we want to make sure that we are also offering support for VPN within our wireless network products. So um, the GWN 7000 features hardware accelerated VPN, including PPTP, L2TP, IPSEC and OpenVPN. So you can uh, share your VPN across one or many different physical locations through multiple routers um, and you can you know, configure that as need be. It's great for um, you know, multi-branch uh, companies and offices, um, retail locations, restaurants, shops, etc. So now we will touch on the GDS 3710 IP video door system. Um, so this was also released in March. March was clearly a very busy month for Grandstream. And this is also the first device of its kind within our product portfolio. 
Um, we've been having feature or basically product requests for this for years, and um, we have we have heard you, and we've come up with the GDS 3710, um, which is a uh, hemispheric HD IP video door system. And you can see a little screenshot there of what this hemispheric lens looks like, but it's ideal for monitoring from wall to wall without bl blind spots to make sure you've got optimum security um, wherever you install the GDS 3710. So the GDS 3710 features 180 degree wall to wall coverage. We'll go into that a little bit uh, more in depth in just a few slides. It also serves as a high definition IP surveillance camera and IP intercom, so it can offer facility access control and security monitoring in one device. It integrates with Grandstream's existing devices, and we'll show you that shortly, with our phones, video phones, and NVRs to provide a complete end-to-end -end solution for access control, video intercom, audio intercom, and also security recording needs. So just to give you a few of the technical highlights on the GDS 3710, um, this is a very in-depth device. It's got a lot of different features and a lot of customization based on um, you know, your deployment needs. Uh, once again, we are offering training webinars on these devices, um, so you, know, you can keep an eye out for that later this quarter. Um, because you know, it is not not only is it a new product for Grandstream, it's a new product for some of our resellers, but it does have a lot of features um, that a training webinar would be very helpful for everyone to kind of grasp the device a little bit better. So the GDS 3710 is, of course, a SIP product. It supports door control using IP video phones, IP phones, and mobile phones. It has a built-in capacitive touch, uh, touch keypad, so that's where you can see the numbers there, the little doorbell. That's your touchpad, and then it also features RFID all within that touchpad. Um, it has a built-in microphone with 1.5 meter range and an HD loudspeaker of up to a 3 meter range. Also features full duplex audio, so you're not like you're talking through a uh, walkie-talkie, you're talking through a phone. Um, and it features advanced AEC and background noise suppression. So if this is something that is installed outdoors or in a busy hallway, uh, you will not have to worry about any kind of background noise um, interfering with your two-way audio also features PoE or an optional 12 volt connection. Uh, also has two alarm inputs as well as two alarm outputs and features RS-45 and WIGAN input and output. Um, additionally, it features, uh, for the alarms, it features a hostage code alarm, tamper alarm, and multi-key keypad input error alarm. So you have a few different features in alarms and you can set them up how you need um, for your particular situation. Now for the installation environment specifications. The GDS 3710 can be both in wall mounted, um, which is what you see on the left hand side. Now that is an accessory that you could purchase separately, or it can be surface mounted and that's what you see on the right hand side. So the in wall mount does come with a frame um, that would allow you to insert this into a wall. It is indoor outdoor and is IPv6 um, weatherproof. So no need to worry about water um, damage or anything like that. Um, and it's also IK9 vandal resistant. So same thing um, if you're installing it outside or in a more public area or pretty much anywhere, you don't have to really worry about um, this physically having any security issues um, pertaining to vandalism. Uh, now, when it comes to operating temperatures, uh, this basically covers most regions. I know some extremely cold regions probably won't be able to uh, use this, but when it comes to the operation, it can uh, support up to negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 30 degrees Celsius. So um, even for some of our friends up in very northern Canada should be able to be fine uh, using this device. It can also go up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. So um, you know, maybe our friends down in Arizona on those hot summer days don't have to worry. When it comes to storage, it can take a little bit more of the cold, negative 35 degrees Celsius or negative 31 degrees Fahrenheit, and up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's also, um, you know, can support humidity, um, high humidity levels, and is non-condensing. Let's go back to the hemispheric view. Now, this is a very important feature because this is what basically make sure that the GDS 3710 is capturing as much of your environment uh, for security purposes as possible. So it features 180 degrees 
um, width-wise and 150 degrees height-wise, and you can kind of see just how much that really does encompass in terms of your viewpoint. Features a uh, two megapixel image sensor and is also features H.264 high profile codec. It also can feature up to four concurrent video streams. So whether you are uh, recording your video stream to an NVR, um, if you are streaming, you know, via 720p to a PC or a video phone, also features QVGA to mobile apps as well as 720p still image capturing uh, for other devices. Also supports wide dynamic range, so you've got, um, you know, it can support a lot of different light um, environments. So you're not, you know, either overexposed or underexposed. Um, it'll make sure that it captures the best light environment as possible. Also features built-in white LEDs for face illumination. So in um, the dark when you don't have a lit area, it will illuminate anyone standing in front of the GDS 3710. Although we do recommend that if you need further coverage uh, that you either do you know, external lighting um, in order to make sure that the area has wider light coverage for um, night, nighttime installments. And then of course it has lens distortion correction. Now there are two viewing modes for the GDS 3710. It has that hemispheric view, which we just mentioned, and also offers lens distortion correction. So you can look at both views and decide which one is better um, for your environment. So as you can see, the hemispheric lens does have a wider range. Um, maybe some you know, viewpoints don't need that. You might have a smaller hallway or something where you really don't need all that space. So you decide, you can pick. Those are the two options available through the GDS 3710. All right, I've got a missing picture here again, but uh, it's nothing too exciting. So GDS Management Utility Software. This is something that comes included with the GDS 3710. It is free management software that you download directly from grandstream.com. And what this does is it provides RFID card management um, and it provides reports for door entrance and attendance management as well. So you can actually use it as a way for employees to scan in and out, clock in and out, um, check who's been in, who's uh, left, and you know if there's any kind of security concerns, you have an entire record of everyone that has been entering throughout the day. Um, so it also allows you to control multiple GDS 3710s. Uh, so if you have multiple installed in your building or if you're on um, you know, a campus of some sort, you can manage everything there, view all entry, exit, um, every time a door is opened, a, co a code is entered, RFID card is used, everything is managed centrally here and it is a free download available through grandstream.com. Ah, there's the image, there you go. <laughs> Uh, now, for access options, we get a lot of questions about exactly what is um, available through the GDS 3710. So as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of customization that can be done with this device. Uh, so we want to make sure we cover all as many of them as we can uh, so you get a good idea of how flexible this can be dependent on you know, your deployment scenarios. So it supports RFID cards or FOBs. Um, you can either purchase those from Grandstream or from a third-party supplier. Um, also uh, features custom numeric code entry or guest codes even, and guest codes can be supported with time settings. So you can say, you know, from nine till five, I'll allow this guest code to be active, but after five o'clock, guests can't enter. Um, and only, you know, the RFID card holders or anyone with a custom numeric code can enter the building. Also it does feature dual authentication. So if you want extra security, you can require both an RFID scan and a code combination before the door is opened. Additionally, when it comes to the controlled access, you can either have the ring doorbell feature, you can allow the GDS to dial an extension, um, or it can also be uh, motion detection. So as soon as the GDS notices something in front of it, it can dial a predetermined extension or a group of extensions to notify, um, you know, basically send a notification that there is someone there. Now, of course, alarm options are important as well. Uh, so the GDS 3710 features hostage co hostage code alarm, tamper alarm, as well as multi-key input error alarm. So you can set all of them up, one of them, two of them, whatever you need, all of that is configurable through the web UI. So when it comes to uh, facility access, we're not just providing you with the GDS 3710, uh, we do we have integrated the door station with 
uh, a wide range of GrandStream products so that way you can create an entire solution together um, when you are installing the GDS 3710. So it integrates seamlessly with the um, GXV3275 and GXV3240. Um, and what that will do is, of course, you can just have automatic calls sent to the phones, either whether it's motion detection, call an extension, ring a doorbell, what have you. Um, you. Directly from the phone, you can open and close the door. You can store snapshots, watch live video feeds, and you can also use the intercom functionality. So you can check that video feed first, decide whether you want to open the door or not, speak to the person, um, and you can either open it, close it back up. Um, everything can be uh, managed for the facility access through either of the video phones. And there, we also integrated a one-touch entry feature on the video phone. So when you, you have the GDS 3710, let's say calling a GXV3275 like we have pictured here, uh, this is what you'll see on screen and you can literally open the door with one touch. Now when it comes to IP phones, it integrates seamlessly with Grandstream IP phones. It does, of course, also integrate with existing IP phones. So if you are putting GDS into a, um, a building where they already have their own phones and they aren't Grandstream, that is fine. Remember, this is a SIP device. It operates on SIP standard, so you don't only have to um, you know, restrict it to Grandstream. But when it comes to Grandstream phones, uh, with the 2100 series, you are able to open and close the door, store snapshots because they do support images, and you can actually watch a live video feed. Um, this is a custom feature that we set up. So although the GXP2100 series are not video phones, we have set up a feature that uh, you can actually see a video feed through your 2100 series. Also, of course, features intercom functionality. Now, when it comes to the GXP 1600s and 1700s, as well as the DEC series, you will only have intercom functionality. You will not have the additional things such as uh, you know, image storing or open closed door. Um, those are more for the higher end phones. Uh, this is just a really quick screenshot of what it looks like when uh, you have a GDS 3710 call a GXP 2100 series, so you can actually see that live series or that live image um, and live video. So you can either do snapshots if you'd prefer to get a snapshot of who's at the door, but you can also watch a live video feed. So it's just a little testing that we did, um, and you can see right there, you can open the door and the call, um, everything's controlled through the 2100. And of course, the GDS 3710 integrates with network video recorders, not just Grandstreams, but of course, we do prefer that you use uh, the full Grandstream solution. So you can integrate it with the GVR 3552 or the 3550, and it records and stores live video feeds. But of course, you can still use this with, um, you know, with any kind of recording software, or you can use it with other NVRs. So hopefully, I didn't bore any of you guys, and that you've got a lot of for us, so thank you very much for uh, you know, keeping, um, keeping your attention with us. So now we can move on to questions, um, and also we have our um, Head of North America Support, Ernesto Calderon, with us so that he can answer any questions that might be more technical in nature um, for this. So we can um, dive right into questions. Let's see. Hey there, Ernesto. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Alrighty, so it looks like Ernesto, thank you very much for already answering a lot of questions in the chat while they were going through. Um, so any new questions, please send them through and either I'll answer them, Kyle will answer them if they are more 888 VoIP and sales related, or we'll uh, have Ernesto hop in um, when this, you know, if anything is a little bit more technical in nature. Hello everyone, and just a little um Clarification, there's a question about the GXP2100 phones, the color phones, how we call it. Eventually, as um, Dorothy mentioned, if you want to have a solution with the GDS, the door phone, and the GXP phone, then you can send, uh, the, G the GDS is going to send the video, and the GXP phone can display the video also. In a sort of like a snapshot or screenshot, it's a very slow video, but at least you can see uh, the incoming video. So that's going to be available very soon. If you ever want to better test it, open support ticket, and we can send you the firmware for testing. Wonderful. Thanks, Ernesto. Um, all right. I've got a question here uh, 
this will be for you, Ernesto. Um, it looks like the GDS 3710 has a vir has virtual views with uh, D equals wide field of view. Is something like that possible? No, it's a fixed uh, angle. If I understand correctly, the question is about the angle that you can see with the eye fish uh, with the lens, basically with the lens that the GDS support, uh, you have a 180 to 190 angle, um, and that is not, um, let's say, configurable. In some other uh, vendors, you can change that to different angles to give a sort of like a virtual view but not in this case. This is whatever you receive, that's going to be uh, fixed. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Ernesto. All right. If there's any other questions, uh, keep them coming and we'll, um, but if, you know, if you do have questions that uh, you can't think of right now, um, and if they are more product related or technically related, um, you can either open up a ticket at the help desk or you can email us at info at grandstream.com. Um, if it's a bit more sales related, then Kyle can absolutely help you um, or any of the other sales reps at um, 888-VOIP as well. So just keep that in mind in case uh, you're blanking on a question now. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, just uh, to expand upon that point, at this time, 8 to 8 VoIP does have product on hand of the GDS 3710, the 7610, and we ex anticipate additional stock to arrive for both the GWN 7000 and the 7610 or 7600 uh, next week. So we're very excited about having those products on hand, uh, either for demo purposes or for uh, opportunities that you have currently today uh, as a gold level distributor. We're obviously very excited to deliver the cost-effective, feature-rich solution and continue the, the tradition of GrantStream as they capitalize upon the convergence of technology kind of taking place within the channel today. So uh, as Dorothy mentioned, if you have any questions about uh, sales or products, you, not only do you have GrantStream and their resources available to you, but you also have the 888 VoIP staff here ready and willing to help you out as well. All right, just making more time to receive more questions. Again, any technical question related to the product that we presented today, feel free to open a support ticket at grandstream.com and we will be uh, helping you uh, very soon. And uh, for support related questions, if you have a reseller ID, you will have prioritized support. Just keep that in mind. Yep. And um, also in case any of you were looking for trading opportunities, Grandstream will be having them um, either in person or we will also do training webinars. Um, so if you're looking for more in-depth um, information, visit grandstream.com. Uh, today's webinar was more just to introduce everybody to the new products. Uh, looks like we have one question. Maybe we can wrap up the, um, the webinar with this last one if that works. So. Um, the next question, and this will be for you, Ernesto. Does the GWN 7000 router have any VoIP uh, particular VoIP specific features built in? Uh, that's a very good question because if you want to have a grand sim solution, why to have a router, right? So yes, the answer is yes. The router automatically will detect the grand stream uh, deployment phones or PBX and will automatically enable the QoS for you. Wonderful, thank you very Trainings much. in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did that one already a few months ago, so we'll keep that in mind. We can do more in Tennessee. In regards to the GDS uh, giveaway, we're going to determine who exactly is going to be uh, the lucky winner on that. Probably about a, within an hour or so after the fact, uh, once we close everything down here, uh, we'll get the attendee list and uh, we'll randomly select the lucky winner and let them know as soon as we determine who that is. <laughs> Sorry, okay, back to training. So 
keep an eye on our website. We're doing trainings almost every other week. Uh, we do some training with our distributor, Editor Boy, and some training with Grand Stream itself. Uh, Chicago, for example, we're going to be doing one very soon. So keep an eye on our website so you can see the schedule. We do trainings most of the time. It's for UCM only. And now that we have the network product, we're doing a two days training. Uh, first day is going to be the PBX UCM, and the second day, uh, something like this. So, a network, a router, access point, and also the GDS. I think that's uh, pretty much it for questions. Uh, Dorothy, do you have more, anything else? Yeah, I think we're all set. I'll toss it back to Kyle. We can wrap up and then uh, just remember if you have any Grandstream questions, our help desk is always available or just email us at info at grandstream.com. Outstanding. Well, well done, Dorothy. Thank you so much both to Dorothy and to Ernesto for your time as well as to all of our attendees today. I know everyone's schedules are super busy. It's a busy time of year as per always, but uh, it does mean a bunch or a lot to us that you all joined us today. Uh, we want to continue the tradition of, of helping our vendor partners go to market strongly, but also helping our channel participants be successful with the products that we distribute today. Again, if there are any questions related to not only today's webinar, but the uh, entire GrandStream product lineup or 888 VoIP in general, please by all means do not hesitate to contact your account manager here at 888 VoIP. If you are new to 888 VoIP or do not work with us today, please give us a call. You can always email us at salesteam at 888voip.com. Please feel free to visit our website as well. That is 888voip.com and get any more information that you may need uh, about us. Uh, again, thank you so much for, for your time today. I'm going to let it go from there. We'll let the uh, winner of the GD, GDS 3710 know uh, who they are as soon as we get everything reported from today's attendance. And uh, again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.